Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The conditions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, with his family. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the, wor the worlds, who says in his ever glorious book to his Prophet, the Messenger of Allah is an excellent model for those of you who put your hope in Allah and the last day and remember him often. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah has sent our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as mercy, <coughs> as mercy to the world and to perfect good manners. So he, peace be upon him, was the best of his morals, the one with the purest heart and the most modest soul, and the best companion. The Almighty Allah said, We have not sent you except as a mercy to the world. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said about himself, I have been sent to perfect noble morals. The, Prophet, the Prophet's wife Khadijah, may Allah, be, may Allah be pleased with her, described the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, You keep good relations with your relatives, speak the truth, help the poor and the destitute. Serve your guests generously and assist the deserving calamity afflicted ones. Although the Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best companion for all those around him and the most noble person with them all, his family had the greatest share of his good manners and kind treatment. He, peace be upon him, said, The best of you is he who is best to his family, and I am the best among you to my family. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best husband. He used to help his family in domestic works. Once Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, was asked, What would the Prophet, peace be upon him, do in his house? She replied, He mended his sandals and worked as any man works in his house. According to another narration, she said, He used to keep himself busy helping his family, and when it was the time for prayer, he would get up for prayer. It was a sign of his peace be upon him kind treatment with his family, that he, peace be upon him, would let his wife, Sophia, may Allah be pleased with her, to step on his knee to mount her camel, and he would wipe out her tears with his noble hands out of loving and honoring her. Also, our Prophet, peace be upon him used to consult his wives. Once he sought the, the advice of Umm Salama, may Allah be pleased with her, during the time of the Treaty of Al Hudaybiyah. She advised him, peace be upon him, to go ahead and complete the rituals of Umrah, and his companions would follow him. This was what exactly happened. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said the best example of man's loyalty to his wife. He said about his wife Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. After her death, she had faith in me when people rejected me. She believed in me when the people disbelieved in me. She supported me with her wealth when the people prevented me. Once an old woman came to the Prophet and he treated her well and showed hospitality to her. Aisha asked the Prophet about the reason for such treatment and he replied, She used to visit us when Khadija was alive. To be faithful to others is an aspect of one's belief. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, was a compassionate and kind father. It is reported that whenever his daughter Fatima came to him, he would stand up for her, make her welcome, kiss her, and have her sit in his place. When the Prophet came to her, she would stand up for him, take his hand, make him welcome, kiss him, and make him sit in her place. Also, when his son Ibrahim died, he showed deep sorrow. When he was asked about this feeling, he replied, It is compassion. Then shed tears and said, The eye weeps and the heart grieves. 
what we say only what our Lord is pleased with. And we are grieved over being separated from you, Ibrahim. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best grandfather to his grandchildren. Once he, peace be upon him, prostrated during the prayer for so long that people said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, you had made a long prostration that we thought something bad had happened or that you were receiving a revelation. He, peace be upon him, said, No such thing happened. But my grandson was riding on my back, and I did not like to disturb him. Once he, peace be upon him, was delivering a khutbah, when he saw Al-Hassan and Al-Hussein wearing red shirts, walking and stumbling, he came down and picked them up to the member. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, used also to show kindness to servants Anas ibn Malik may Allah be pleased with him said I served the Prophet peace be upon him for 10 years and he never said to me Uff, a minor harsh word denoting impatience and never blamed me for by saying when why did you do so or why didn't you do so how much we need to follow the example of our Prophet peace be upon him in all the affairs of his life as his life was truly the best example known to humanity establishing a stable and healthy family which advances the society and causes life to be upright. May Allah May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Master Muhammad and upon his family and companions. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.